Okay, so far we've looked at Spark in terms of everything to do with Spark as a standalone instrument product. We've checked out the hardware, the sounds, everything Spark can do with a full tutorial for every part of Spark. Okay, now that's Spark working as a standalone instrument product. And now we're going to widen the net a bit and we're going to look at some of the other things Spark can do. Okay, this isn't this isn't Spark as a MIDI controller. We're going to look at that in a separate chapter. Spark has its own MIDI controller application program, which is completely different to the Spark program, which you run to set up Spark just as a MIDI controller. But what we're going to look at now is the extra things that Spark can do, um, such as running as a plug-in instrument in your host sequencer. We're going to check out the functionality of the MIDI in and out sockets on the back of the Spark. And we're going to check out the Spark's ability to trigger and write patterns into its internal sequencer for third-party drum software or for hardware modules. So we're going to look at some of the wider things that Spark can do. Now, all of those things, we, including running Spark as a plug-in instrument on a Mac, we can't do any of these things until we've made a modification to the MIDI driver. Okay, so we have to, before anything else, we need to go to Applications, Utilities, and look down Utilities and find this audio MIDI setup, which has a little keyboard icon, right? And double click it, and two panels open. I'll just drag the Applications window out of the way. Okay, these two panels open the MIDI studio and the audio devices. Well, we don't want the audio devices, so I'll drag that out of the way. This is the one we want, the MIDI studio. And your Spark controller object should be listed there like that. And this is what we want, this IAC driver. Double click it, and this panel appears here. Now, no available ports. This is the bit we want, so highlight it, and then click the plus button here and it changes to say IAC bus 1. Okay, now double click that and type in exactly as I'm typing here. Capital S, lowercase p a r k 1, space, capital M, lowercase i d i to spell MIDI, space, and then out, all in capitals. It has to be spelled like that. Um, I I actually, um, the first time I installed this driver here, I put a capital S for the word Spark 1, and I put OUT in capitals, but I spelled MIDI all in lower case, and one of the functions of Spark wouldn't work, and I couldn't figure out what it was, and all it was was that I'd spelled MIDI with a lower case M, and I, I came back, deleted the driver, changed it so it said Spark 1, MIDI with a capital M then reopened everything and the one thing that didn't work then worked so it's very important you spell it like that so when you've typed that in press enter okay spark one MIDI out spelled just like that and then detick that this device is online and retick it again I just did that as an extra okay and that's how it should all look Okay, now close audio MIDI setup. That's it. That's all done. And now we can get on and look at all the things Spark can do.